Hey guys, welcome back. Some guy ran that way, so let's go check that out. As you saw from last time. And I have all the spear ammo I could possibly desire, as well as a luck box, so. I have not actually been this way. Where are you? I need to research you. Purely for scientific means. Eleanor will become the daughter of the people, a true utopian, brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Where's the other one? <laughs> Fucking kidding me. What the hell? Make up your mind. Oh my god. There we go, now you're dead. Apparently I can't switch targets too much. He's 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 literally invisible. What the fuck just happened to him? He's like, he was like, he is invisible right now. I just glitched him up somehow. <laughs> I don't even know how. Professional. I think it's because I shocked him when he was still invisible, so it, it... Some flag didn't get removed that should have been. Alright. Well, I'm running out of Eve hypos now. Uh, let's hack this door. Done. What could possibly be in here? Money I can't pick up. My mortal enemy. Alright. You know, I haven't really used those mini turrets, have I? I should consider doing that, shouldn't I? Maybe for the, the big sister fight coming up. You must learn to play poker, Eleanor. Like anyone, I am flawed and have a fierce genetic bias towards competition. But each Saturday, I read the other players, and I pick a man who will benefit the most from victory. By the final hand, I ensure that he takes home my entire stake, and that of the others. I win nothing but the feeling of conquest over myself, and the wealth of my competitors is slowly reshuffled according to their needs. I don't know, it's it's kind of weird how she's the enemy of the salt, because it's like, she's she's pretty selfless. I, I don't know why we really hate her. She talks a lot, that's a reason enough to hate her, I guess. We're gonna eat, I'm gonna eat some shit here. I'm gonna take my horse vitamins, too. I gotta have my horse vitamins. I think we're almost done here. Uh, I guess we'll uh, also purchase some more drill fuel. Because that's useful. Look at that, six hundred ninety dollars. So it just cost me like a good thousand to do it, and then, you know, then I eat little sisters and shit like that. And... Fucking good times. That's all I'm saying. followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So he found a way to silence them all. And now he's trying to cover it up. That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember, if Lamb catches you... <laughs> Mum's the word. You know, I finished with all of them. Delta, our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. I accept full responsibility for any anger you may experience before you die. 
But I can't die. She rigged it so I couldn't. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Oh, that's what I thought. Alright. Get some drunk some turrets out. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted it, thank you. Are you guys ready? I certainly am. I have my bees, so you are you fucking ready for my bees? Don't fucking psychic me, you bitch. You know, you may be agile, but you can't- Oh, wait, wait, no, no, sorry. Use your camera. Uh oh. Oh, what? Oh, he's healing. He's healing. You're not allowed to do that. Uh, let me go set her on- oh, I can't really set her on fire, can I? Just thinking of all the shit I lost by, uh, not researching her. There we go. I restored my health after gathering atoms. That's kind of nice. Okay. I almost missed out on that shit too. I didn't even use the turret, so whatever. Fuck the turrets. You turrets don't tell me what to do. Doctor Lamb's trying to take the city by sponsoring the artsy types here. The big thing is to speak out against Ryan in their work, and all of it is right here in the park galleries, open to the public. Lamb ain't even charging for it. And the rapture? That's just brazen. Like some kind of naturist camp where everybody wears pulp hats <laughs> and nothing else. Finally, <laughs> stop holding my breath. I like this. Oh, more! Oh, there's more drill fuel. All oh, right, there was a drill fuel place here. I didn't even go for it. Now the reason I'm back here is you guys all know the reason why. And there's like a ton of uh, a ton of hack darts and shit here. We gotta have our hack darts. I I attempted using at least some of them. I only took a couple, but whatever. Okay, I don't think I have much else here to explore, uh, but I'll be sure to. Make sure I got everything. You guys are not the smartest, uh... Not the smartest guys. No, I'm not fighting you. Bye. <laughs> they missed. They have everybody here, like... Holy shit, it's like a party. And I'm, I'm not invited. Well, I sort of am invited. I'm the- I'm, I'm- I am the party. Delta is always invited. People are like, bring the beer, and he's like, that, that was my big daddy impression, by the way. Oh, more Eve here. You know, I am kind of running out, so... I'm gonna try and drill sma smash some more- uh oh. Delta. I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here, and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb knew? And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God. No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live. No. So, Lamb broke... 
knocked out, and she's coming back. Wow. Okay. Didn't see that coming, but... Okay. Oh, that is gonna be... Oh, what am I gonna do? And I... I've heard some of these... A lot of these people down here talking. Some of them, I know, saw the thing with Eleanor and... Who oh, no! Mother's not lying this time, Father. He really did it. To both of us. Alright, SMG chart. Let's just watch this one again. So, down here talking. Some of them I know saw the thing with Eleanor and who knows who knows what. You can't just stop, you know, a whole cult from from talking, can you? Well, maybe you can. Yeah. Maybe you can. I can't believe I missed this thing. Alright, I'm gonna go explore for a minute, because I don't know if I did miss anything. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be in front of the train in a minute. Okay, yeah, so all I really did miss was, like, a safe, and that was it. Like, I didn't really see anything else, so... Not like it really matters. What am I gonna do? Like, lose resources, which I already have max of? Fuck it. Oh, man, I love Fontaine Futuristics. Choo-choo, here we go. I wonder how many more stations we have. This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. Oh. I don't think, don't think I'm having tr any trouble living right now, but this is not the end of the line. There's one more place. But whatever. I always love things like this. This facility belongs to the city now. To Ryan Industries. At least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building. Fontaine is gone. Lamb is gone. Close enough. I am alone at last. Alone with my city. Well, um, I always like uh, something like Fontaine Futuristics because it's like always kind of like, especially the old style kind of future stuff. It's always kind of like, ooh, that looks fucking ridiculous, but it's hilarious. Please hurry, Daddy. No. I will take my time and loot all these lockers before I get whatever you just gave me. Uh, ooh, damage research. I probably would want that. I'll do it. Put it on later. Hey. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> my name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. Gil's a pretty cool guy. Oh, here we go. Fontaine Futuristics. What am I falling into? Uh, I am in the rock right now. Okay, so this is where I apparently fell. Like right here. Almost there. You can tell because there's like a thing going down. There you are. That's how I fell through. 
So there's a glitch in the in the game, uh, naturally. Uh, wait, I, I feel like I'm actually in the ground right now. <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. Oh, here we go. No, I'm finally back out. I'm saved. Who is this poor chap who, uh, oh, I guess he was, uh, inside the, the thing that blew up. Or sees shit. I don't know why I'm looking in every nook and cranny for these slug things, because they seem to be in fairly obvious places. But I'm still gonna look in every nook and cranny, anyways. So, things are constantly being seized by Ryan Industries. That son of a bitch. Fontaine worked hard for that. Alright, well, into here then. The game really likes to make you go underwater just because, like, look what we did. What? What? It's purple? Oh, I know what that is. Oh, there's some big daddy shit here. You're fired. Is that? Guy kind of looks like Andrew Ryan. But I don't think that's him. That was really awkward. And she's over there. Uh oh. Alright, got her too. Maybe one day I'll, uh... Oh, that's cool. It does a chain lightning effect. <laughs> What's ridiculous? Hey, I like that. I did, did a shock attack to her. Alex the Great? Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander. Same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Hell yeah! That's hard, man. It's getting harder. I don't like difficulty. No, I like difficulty. It's good. I can still do it most of the times, so I'm, I'm good with uh, trying trying to finish it. Yeah, what do we got up here? Oh, there's some. Uh, we'll, we'll finish this room up so I never have to come back here. The green. Hmm. You know, it's, even with the sports boost, I still don't go fast enough, in my opinion. Oh, whoops. Sorry, my bad. Hopefully Alexander doesn't get pissed at me. I mean, he, he does sound pretty great, you know. Well, let's go then.
Okay. He's stealing office supplies. Ah, oh, increased damage. So let's do this the entire time. And even when I'm stunned, I can still attack you. Oh, he's dead. That was fun. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Can get some more drill fuel. So it just cost me a bit of money in order to. The hell? Hello again. I, I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself, ah. Uh, and on that cherry note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the Vogel print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. That's all he does? The simplest voice print thing ever. Also, that's a rather, uh... Uh, short password. Must be at least 20 characters. Please see password to enter. Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Well, that's all the time we have for today. We will see you guys next time. Bye.